Hey guys, I'm Tara. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a restorative yoga flow. So restorative yoga is all about being supported. So you do need props for this practice. So for today, I decided that we'll use yoga blocks because I feel like more people have yoga blocks than like a bolster or something. So you do need two yoga blocks for today's practice. So through restorative yoga, we're really working on just being supported and letting go. I really enjoy doing a more restorative flow toward the end of the day to kind of unwind, but you can do it at any time. And if you're someone also who has maybe trouble meditating or something, restorative yoga is a really great way to kind of help your mind and body get in a similar state that you would in meditation. So we're going to start today's class on our hands and knees on all fours. Okay, so we're starting on all fours. So your hands and knees, we're going to do some cat cows. That's not as restorative. So restorative yoga is really holding poses for a long time, but I like to start with a little bit of movement in the body just to warm you up a little bit before we go into the other poses. Okay, so on your hands and knees, hands directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips, and you're gonna drop your belly down, look up for cow and then round through the upper back, drop the head, cat. Drop the belly down, look up, cow. And round for cat. Let's move with the breath, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Hold here. Breathe. Taking an extra breath here. Come back to neutral and sit back and you're gonna sit and we're gonna do a wide leg forward fold as our first restorative pose. So the legs are gonna go out wide. Bring your blocks over towards you. Okay, so two options here. So depending how open your hamstrings are, so if you can get the knees straight and sit comfortably up tall, then we're gonna use the blocks in front of you. If you have a really hard time straightening the knees because maybe the hamstrings are tight, you can also place the blocks underneath your knees and you're just going to work on sitting up nice and tall here, okay? So choose your option. If you have the blocks in front of you, so if the knees are able to go straight, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to lean forward and you're placing your forehead on the blocks, okay? So I do suggest stacking the two blocks up here because we're making this more restorative. So it's not like we're trying to like really go deep into the stretch, we're just trying to relax into the pose, okay? So go ahead and get into your position. So if you're in the position with the blocks under the knees, you're just working on sitting up nice and tall and breathing here or your head's relaxed on the two blocks out in front of you. So we're gonna hold for three minutes for each pose that we're gonna go through today. So normally in restorative yoga, we normally do hold about five to 10 minutes per pose, but I wanted to make this a more intro to restorative yoga. So if maybe you're not you know, used to holding these poses for a really long time, this is a good way to first get into restorative yoga, okay? And just focus on your breath, really let go. So I'm just gonna let you listen to the music here and then I will guide you out once the three minutes are up.
Go ahead and slowly make your way back up. And use your hands to bring your legs back into a cross leg position. Nice and slow. Hold on to your shins and just do one cow in sitting. So drawing the shoulders down and back, opening through the chest. And relax out of that pose and go ahead and make your way to lay on your back. So next we're moving into supported bridge pose. So for this pose, you could either have the block, I suggest either on the lowest height or the medium height, okay? So the block's gonna go underneath your sacrum, which is like the lowest part of your back. So it could be either on the lowest height here like this, or you could flip it to the medium height and it's still underneath the sacrum. So choose which variation feels best for you. Your feet are gonna be on the earth and the feet are gonna be hip width apart. You're gonna have your palms facing up, so just tuck your shoulders underneath you and then relax back down just so this, the chest stays open. And then really start to relax into the pose. Let go of any tension in the lower back, the sacrum. Let it really be supported by the block. And just focus on your breath here. Three minutes here, I'll guide you out when we're ready. We're going to slowly move out of the pose. So just lift your hips up a little bit, remove the block, and then slowly lower your hips back down to the earth. Nice and slow. If it feels good to you or you feel like you need to, you could just windshield wipe the leg side to side for a moment. Hi, baby. And next we're moving into supported fish pose. So you're gonna need both blocks. So two options here, you can either have the block. So this block the top at the top of the mat is gonna be for your head. This block more in the middle of your mat is gonna be for your upper back. So you could either have the block at your upper back at the lowest level and the block for the top of the head 
at the mid-level or you could switch it a little more so the one at the head would be at the highest and the block for the upper back would be at the middle height. Either way, you want the block at your back to be vertical along your spine. So this is what it will look like with the blocks at the first setting. And this is what it would look like with the blocks at the second setting. So choose which option you would like to take. And go ahead and get into position there. Your knees are going to be bent, feet on the floor. Arms can go out into like a T shape with the palms facing up and just letting go here. Choose which option feels good for you and your body. The second option can get a little intense so if that just doesn't feel good for you today stick with the blocks on the first setting and breathe into this here try to let go of any tension in the glutes the lower back and then let the upper back relax and let the head fully relax on the block. Three minutes here. ahead and slowly start to move your arms back down and go ahead and remove the blocks and make your way to lay back on the earth next pose is supta baddha konasana so but we're going to do it supported with the blocks so you're laying on your back feet are together you're going to let the knees fall out to the sides, but they're going to have, but you're going to have the block supported here. So the blocks are going to go underneath your knees. So they're kind of like between the thighs and the calves, supporting your legs here. Hands come down at your sides, palms facing up, and breathe here. Really let go of any tension in the legs, let the blocks totally support the legs. Maybe tuck the shoulders underneath you and then relax back down to make sure the chest stays open. And breathe here, three minutes here.
to slowly come out of the pose, removing the blocks and moving into Shavasana. So you can either have the legs just straight out like a traditional Shavasana or you can place the blocks underneath your knees. So one block under each knee for a little bit more of a supported Shavasana and then relax back down arms relaxed, palms facing up, and just letting go here, three minutes in Shavasana, if the mind wanders, just bring your attention back to your breath. start to bring some movement back into the body, wiggle the fingers and toes, reach the arms overhead, point through the toes, make your body nice and long, bend through the knees, roll onto one side, keeping your bottom arm straight out to rest the head on that arm. your hands to slowly walk your way back up into sitting. Easy pose, cross leg position. Hands in prayer at your heart. One deep breath together here, a nice deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Return to your comfortable breath. Thank you for practicing with me here today. Namaste. Thank you guys for going through that practice with me. I hope you feel super relaxed. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button right below me and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.